The Book of Nahum Chapter 1 The Message Concerning Nineveh The Book of the Vision of Nahum The Elkoshite Yahuwah is a jealous and avenging El. Yahuwah is avenging and a possessor of wrath. Yahuwah is avenging on his adversaries and he watches for his enemies. Yahuwah is patient and great in power, but by no means leaves unpunished. Yahuwah has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He is rebuking the sea and it dries up, and all the floods he has made dry. Bashan and Carmel are withering, and the flower of Lebanon is languishing. Mountains have shaken before him, and the hills have melted, and the earth is lifted up at his presence, and the world and all who dwell in it. Who does stand before his rage, and who rises up in the heat of his displeasure? His wrath is poured out like fire, and the rocks have been broken by him. Yahuwah is good, as a stronghold in the day of distress, and he knows those who take refuge in him. But with an overwhelming flood, he makes a complete end of the place of Nineveh, and darkness does pursue his enemies. What do you plot against Yahuwah? He makes a complete end of it. Distress does not rise up a second time. Though they are as entangled as thorns and as drunkards with their drink, they shall be consumed like stubble thoroughly dried. For you came forth one who plots evil against Yahuwah, a counselor of Belial. Thus said Yahuwah, Though they are strong and many, even so they shall be cut off and pass away. Though I have afflicted you, I afflict you no more. So now I break his yoke from you and tear off your shackles. And Yahuwah has commanded concerning you, Your name shall no longer be sown. From the house of your mighty ones I shall cut off the carved image and the molded image. I shall appoint your burial site, for you have been of no account. See, on the mountains the feet of him who brings good news, who proclaims peace. O oh, Yahuda, celebrate your festivals, perform your vows. For Belial shall no more pass through you. He has been cut off completely. Chapter 2 He who breaks in pieces has come up before your face. Guard the ramparts. Watch the way. Strengthen your loins. Fortify your power very much. For Yahuwah shall turn back the splendor of Yaakov like the splendor of Yisrael. For the emptiers have emptied them out and ruined their vine branches. The shields of his mighty men have become red. The men of battle are in scarlet. The chariots are like flaming torches in the day of his preparation. And the cypresses shall be shaken. The chariots dash about in the streets. They rush one another in the broad ways. They look like flaming torches. They run like lightning. He remembers his nobles. They stumble in their walk. They hurry to her walls and the defense is prepared. The river gates have been opened and the palace is melted. And it is established. She shall be exiled. She shall be led away. And her female servants are moaning as with the voice of doves beating on their breasts. And Nineveh of old was like a pool of water. Now they flee away. Stop! Stop! They cry, but no one turns back. Plunder the silver, plunder the gold. There is no limit to the treasure, a wealth of all precious objects. She is empty, even emptiness and waste. And the heart has melted, and the knees have knocked together, and much pain is in all loins, and all their faces have become flushed. Where is the den of the lions and the feeding place of the young lions? Where the lion, the lioness, and the lion cubs walked with no one to disturb them? The lion tore in pieces enough for his cubs and strangled for his lioness. 
and filled his caves with prey, and his dens with torn prey. See, I am against you, declares Yahuwah of hosts, and I shall burn your chariots in smoke, and the sword devour your young lions, and I shall cut off your prey from the earth, and no longer is the voice of your messengers heard. Chapter 3 Woe to the city of blood! All of it is a lie, filled with plunder. The prey is not lacking. The sound of a whip and the sound of rattling wheels, of galloping horses, of jolting chariots, mounted horsemen with bright sword and glittering spear, and many wounded, and a mass of dead bodies, and no end of corpses. They stumble over the corpses because of the many whorings of the well-favored whore, the mistress of sorceries, who sells nations by her whorings and clans by her sorceries. See, I am against you, declares Yahuwah of hosts, and shall lift up your skirts over your face, and shall show nations your nakedness and reigns your shame. And I shall cast abominations upon you and treat you as foolish and make a spectacle of you. And it shall be that all who see you flee from you and say, Nineveh is laid waste. Who does mourn for her? Where do I seek comfort for you? Are you better than no Ammon, who dwelt by the Nile streams with waters around her, whose rampart was like the sea? whose wall was like the sea. Cush and Mitzrayim were her strength, even unlimited. Put and Lubim were your helpers. Yet she was exiled. She went into captivity. At the head of every street, her young children were dashed to pieces. Lots were cast for her esteemed men, and all her great men were bound in chains. You too are to become drunk. You are to go into hiding. You too are to seek refuge from the enemy. All your strongholds are fig trees with ripened figs. When shaken, they shall fall into the mouth of the eater. See your people, in your midst are women. The gates of your land shall be open wide to your enemies. Fire shall consume your gate bars. Draw for yourself water for the siege. Strengthen your defenses. Go into the clay and tread the mortar. Lay hold of the brick mold. There a fire shall consume you. A sword cut you off. Eat you up like a locust. Make yourself many like the locust. Make yourself many like the swarming locust. You have increased your merchants more than the stars of the heavens. The locust shall strip off and fly away. Your officials are like the locusts, and your marshals are like the great grasshoppers, which settle in the hedges on a cold day. When the sun rises, they flee away, and the place where they are is unknown. Your shepherds have slumbered, O sovereign of Asher. Your nobles lie down to rest. Your people are scattered on the mountains, and no one gathers them. Your injury has no healing. Your wound is grievous. All who hear news of you shall clap their hands over you. For over whom did your evil not pass continually?